Oh, hello again and welcome to the VK6CS uh, Fun with Amateur Radio channel. The noise you can hear in the background is the, uh, the actual fan running under the airbox of my uh, GS35B. It's blowing air through the, uh, the anode radiator at the moment. Let's get a bit of paper here and give you an idea of what sort of airflow there is there. There we go. You can see that that is blowing that piece of paper up there like that. Reasonable amount of air coming through the valve with the anode radiator. But it's time to measure it. Let's see if it's enough. So uh, Al has loaned me an airflow meter, which I have here. So I will time the amount of air that's going through this for one minute. And then uh, we'll see if it's uh, anywhere near the 88 cubic feet a minute I need. Okay. A minute always seems an awful lot longer when you're actually uh, watching it go by. As you can see, that's counting round, counting round quite nicely. It's a shame this doesn't actually read off in cubic feet a minute because it would save calculating it afterwards, but uh, not that it's much of a calculation. There we go. Ten seconds. Five. Two. And one. Okay, so let's have a look at that. That's telling us we have 420 feet per minute of air flowing through this uh, airflow meter. Now I'll just turn the um, I'll just turn the fan off. Okay, so to calculate the airflow in cubic feet a minute. What I need to do is, where is my calculator? If you can see that, turn it on, be a good start, wouldn't it? So to co uh, convert uh, feet per minute to cubic feet a minute, I need to multiply the 421, 421 feet per minute by the area of the uh, gauge. And I've already calculated the area of that as uh, 0 0.09 square feet. So that equals 37.89 cubic feet a minute of air coming through the valve. Now uh, the specification says, uh, I think it's 88 cubic feet a minute, so well short. Although um, for what I'd be using it for, this is probably ample, um, I would like to have the specified airflow flowing through the tube, so uh, through the tube radiator here. So um, now what? Well. The fan that's mounted in the bottom of this air box, uh, remember the Russians, that the, the Russian acrylic uh, alphabet uh, on the side here spells, um, actually, what does it spell? Let's have a look at it. It spells, um, of course it's caught up in the mains cable. It spells S S Ogugba. You know they have their, their, their letters, a lot of them are the wrong way around. This is the uh, Russian for airbox. Okay, so the fan in the bottom of it, as you can see, that's just in there and it's sealed up. It won't focus, come on you. There you go. Focus, thank you. Um, so that's the arrangement. I've just sealed that on the bottom there just to measure that airflow. That fan is supposed to be capable of 80, uh, I think it's 88 cubic feet a minute, 85, something like that. So what I'll do is I'll take the fan out of the air box and I'll just run the fan and I'll do the same, uh, I'll do the same measurement and the same calculation just to make sure that that fan is capable of delivering the 88 cubic feet a minute uh, as it's specified for. Now if it does then it's going to be a case of trying to 
Um, I know it's an axial fan, I know they don't do terribly well with back pressure. So what I'm going to try and do is, because it's blowing into this square box here, almost square box, it's, it's rectangular actually, but it looks almost square. Um, it causes a lot of turbulence, there's a lot of turbulence in that box. So I'll uh, try and improve the airflow from the fan through the tube by putting a cylindrical arrangement inside and tidying the airflow up. See if I can get uh, um, uh, a lot more of the air to actually go through the valve. So that's what I've got in mind. Hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll let you know how I get on.